Hi guys, my name is Alex, and in this video I'm going to talk about managing your money so that you can be responsible, buy nice things, and save up for something special. Whether you're running a business or you're working in a casual job, there are three things you always need to know. How much money is coming in, how much money is being spent, and how much you want to save. So let's set this up. Let's say you have a job at the newsagent, where you work about 20 hours a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, for $15 an hour. You have to work the till, make sure the shelves are stocked, help customers, and make deliveries. It's not a bad job. And there's a pretty girl who works at the cafe across the road. Sometimes your boss sends you there to get him a coffee, so you get to say hello to her. But back to the serious stuff. Let's say as well that you've moved out of home and you've got some regular expenses. Rent, utilities, phone, and food. Of course, there are other things that you want to be spending money on, like clothes, going out, and some other cool stuff too. And finally, we've got to make sure that we're putting some money aside as well. The first thing you need to keep track of is when you get paid. In this job, you get paid every Wednesday. In the last week of March, you worked for 20 hours. So you got paid $300 on the 6th of April. In the first week of April, you worked for 18 hours. So you got paid $270 on the 13th of April. In the second week of April, you worked for 22 hours. So you got paid $330 on the 20th of April. And this week, you expect to work 20 hours, so you'll probably get $300 next Wednesday. So that means that this month you will have earned $1,200. Now don't get too excited, we haven't looked at your bills yet. That's right. Now we can't predict how much we're going to spend every month, but there are some regular expenses that we know about in advance. We know about rent, utilities, groceries, and your phone bill. Rent is $300 per month, utilities and groceries are $300 per month on average, and your mobile phone is on a $40 per month plan. That means that this month's regular expenses come to $640. So before we look at savings and fun stuff, we need to remember that more than half of your money has to go to responsible things each month. So we've answered our first question, how much money is coming in? And we've partly answered our second question, how much we're spending? We haven't got into the fun stuff yet, but we do know about regular expenses. Now it's time to talk about savings. In exactly one year, you could have the opportunity to go on an amazing month-long trip overseas. And you know it would be incredible, but it's going to cost $2,000 and you'd like to have $1,000 in your savings for when you get back home. That means you have a savings goal of $3,000 in 12 months, or $250 per month, or roughly $60 a week. So you know that your regular expenses are $640 a month, and you need to put aside $250 every month. So how much does that leave you? $310, that's right. Or $70 a week. Or you know what? $10 a day. For spending on whatever you like. It doesn't sound like much, but that's reality. So let's say you want to buy a pair of jeans for $40. That's the equivalent of four days spending money. Once you break it down, you realize that you can be responsible, you can buy nice things, and you can save up for something special. You can't have everything you want all of the time, but if you can answer the three big questions, income, expenditure, and savings, then you can go really, really far. So I hope this has helped. Take care. I'll catch you next time.